Hi, hello, welcome to another Q&A. I have no idea what number Q&A this is, but I mean, I haven't done one in a while, so I thought I would do one. I posted a little story on Instagram asking you guys for some questions, and I got quite a bit, so we're going to be going through those today. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this. Starting it off with a question here from Rude, Rud, Rudy, Rudney. Uh, just you see it on the screen I'm not even gonna try and say it um, he asks is Dave mod restock or v2 mods that's a good question bro um, obviously it's been how long it's been like over a year since the the Dave Chur pro mods um, I would say right now no um, we I haven't even talked about it with analog so as of right now probably not but maybe in the future down the line I'm not sure um, I want, I want other people on the analog team to get some mods before I get another one because I've had two already. So it, it would seem kind of weird if I had three um, of my own Kendamas before anyone else had one of theirs. So probably not as of right now, but we'll see. We got a question here from Bigfoot Drummer 2 He asks, what is your favorite cereal? Um, dang, that's tough, bro. Cause I do, I love my cereal, bro. Cereal slaps. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of the best. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Mini Wheats. I, I don't know why. I just like Mini Wheats. Um, I'm going to say Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That slaps. It's it's a slapper. Um, yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch for sure. All right. Sun.Sage asks, what do you feel is missing in Kendama right now? Um, to be honest, I feel like content on youtube is the thing that's been missing it's been missing for a while i feel like i mean you had extremis you had ken colt i does he i don't even think he still posts um you had you had um that one dude what was his name like ben cut the noise cut the noise that's what it was um but it feels right like right now it's mostly just i feel like it's just me really posting kendama videos obviously you have like the companies like sweets kendama usa chrome but in terms of just a single person posting kendama youtube videos it feels like it's been me for like five years which it kind of has been there's been people but they've kind of stopped so i feel like just more content creators on youtube when it comes to kendama that'll i feel like that would definitely help spread kendama um and just provide more, you know, entertainment on the YouTubes when it comes to Kanama. So that's, I would say that definitely. Uh, Weed69 asks, what type of chair are you sitting in? Um, my bed. Yeah. Jew Boone 60 what's with the 69s? Jew Boone 69 asks, what's your fave trick to do and fave trick to watch? I mean, my favorite trick to do for years has been like juggles and taps and late ken flips favorite trick to watch i mean probably right now cloud bounces um i still haven't done a cloud bounce but yeah they're fun to watch i just suck at doing them but in terms of what tricks i like to do like i said juggles taps uh ken flips uh i like lunars stuff like that you know dylan dot skates asks how old are you now i am 19 right now um I just turned 19, so there you go. Drew Daves asks Q and B. Q and C. Black Ink Gang asks, at what age will you stop playing Kanama? Like, will you grow over it someday? That's a tough question. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's, I'm not going to be like 80 years old playing Kanama, but I mean, I'll pick it up. I'm not going to like stay playing it like every day for the rest of my life, but like, I'll probably pick it up every once in a while. I'll make sure to have some around me for the rest of my life, probably. Um, so, I mean, it's it's tough to say, but I'm never, like, I'm not going to be going hard at, like, 70 or 80 years old, you know? I don't think anyone expects me or anyone to do that. So, yeah. Deserty P... I'm not even going to try and say this. Uh, he asks, what's up in your life at the moment? Right now, I'm finishing up my first year in college. Um... I, I think it finishes April 12th is the last day, and then I have exams after that. Um, so yeah, I'm just grinding right now, trying to finish my first year of college, so there you go. D underscore Gwardi asks, what is your reaction when you've been informed that you have your own pro mod? I was hyped, bro. I was super hyped. Um, I mean, it kind of started with the pre-mod. I, th I knew when we were making the pre-mod that it was probably likely that we were gonna have a pro mod at some point, 
But when it was official and when I actually saw it, when I actually got the pro mods, I did an unboxing of it. I made a video. Go check that out if you haven't. Um, I was so hyped, bro. It was so exciting to see my name, my signature, like on an actual Kendama. It was just super dope. August, Augustus, Augusts, I don't know. He asks, do you think that Tricks of the Week used to be more hype than it is since you stopped for a few months? Um, I think, yeah. I think uh, stopping anything, it kind of loses the hype. Um, I still, I still want to make them because I want to have like a consistent series on my channel um, when it comes to Kendama, but I mean, at the, I honestly don't really care for views at this point. I've kind of stopped doing YouTube for views. Um, I literally just post videos that I have fun making and videos that I'm proud of. So when it comes to views, when it comes to people watching the videos, I really do not care at this point. Like, you guys see it, I could be posting Kanama videos and getting a thousand views every video, but I don't do that. I post Raptors wrap up videos, reaction videos, of the Raptors games every game um, and they get like a hundred views and I literally don't care because I have fun making them and I'm proud of what I make and I love talking about basketball so yeah I just make what I want to make I don't care about the views the hype uh, definitely has died down on my channel definitely um, and it went specifically when it comes to top tricks of the week but once again I don't care about the views anymore Benjamin Kendama here, the legend. Shout out to Benjamin. Um, we got, he asks, last Dama comp you've gone to, it was MKO 2017, I believe. Yeah, that was the first and only and the last uh, competition that I've been to. In terms of other other Dama related things, I've went to H&L Kendamas in Hawaii when I was there. I went to SoCal Kendamas. It, shout out to you guys if you remember that store in san diego i believe or south of san diego a little bit um but yeah mko is the only event i've been to it was it was super dope i was kind of overwhelmed honestly because it was the first event i've been to and it was free, a huge event and i didn't really know anybody there i mean analog was there but it was yeah overall it was it was a good event though and uh, benjamin kendama once again asks are you still on analog and if so do they still send damas yes i'm still on analog but no they don't send damas because Honestly, I told them not to send Damas because I don't want them to waste Damas on me when I'm not playing as much. And I just feel like I have so many Kendamas already. I don't need every single new analog Kendama that comes out. Don't get me wrong. I love it when they do send Damas. Um, I love doing unboxings. I love checking out the new stuff. But it's just not necessary for me to get every single Dama in the world that they release because i mean i have so many kanamas you guys saw i've been trying to sell some of them um because there's no need to have 150 kanamas um so yeah i'm still on analog they don't send me damas as often but that's because i said not to so yeah and we got the last question here d boy kato kato asks how do you feel about dama right now um I've honestly lost interest over the past two years a little bit. If it wasn't for the YouTube channel, I probably, honestly, I might have quit Kendama by now. But because you guys watch these videos and I don't want to just stop making videos and leave you guys with no videos at all, um, I'm going to keep playing Kendama. I'm going to keep making Kendama videos. Um, I I'm going to be honest, I have lost a little bit of interest. Um, but yeah, I just, I have a really addictive personality. So when I find something that I really like, like, when I found Kendama, that's all I did. Like, all I did was play Kendama. Before that, uh, you guys might not know this, but I had a fingerboard company. Um, it sounds kind of lame, but I made fingerboards. I fingerboarded a lot. That's pretty much all I did. Um, I've been addicted to YouTube for a long time. Um, and recently, I mean, I played basketball when I was younger. I watched a little bit, but I've really got more interested in basketball as well. Um, and when I get addicted to something that's like, all i can really think about so right now for me it's basketball and then kendama and youtube mixed in there somewhere so yeah i just have an addictive personality i get really passionate about things um and it was kendama for a long time um i still love kendama i still like playing it um but obviously you're gonna lose interest in things over time i bet 10 years from now, I'm not going to be as invested in basketball as I am right now. Um, but yeah, that's just that's just what happens. So that's going to do it for this Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for asking those questions on Instagram. And if you guys want to see another Q&A, let me know down below. Um, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.